Hello, my name is Jed Roth, and I'm coming to you through the Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory Program. My team and I have put together a very interesting video on sturgeons. Enjoy! Did you know that caviar can come from a fish that has existed for over 245 million years? That's right, over 245 million years ago. Can you guess what fish it comes from? Well, if you guessed a surgeon, you will be correct. Like a cross between a shark, catfish, and a dinosaur, sturgeons are anadromous. Similar to salmon, they are born in fresh water and go out to sea to live most of their adult lives until they die. During the late 1800s, sturgeon was so plentiful in the sea to the point that fishermen considered them a nuisance. They actually called the fish Albany beef since the Albany area had such an abundance of sturgeon at the time. Most species of sturgeon are actually now considered endangered due to overfishing for their eggs and meat and habitat destruction. A sturgeon's life cycle can be divided into three phases. We have the freshwater juveniles which are under 3 years old, the coastal migrants which can range from 3 to 13 years old, and adults which reach maturity at around 9 to 13 years old. Female sturgeons actually have to return to freshwater to lay up to 2 million eggs about every 3 years. Imagine that! Not to mention, in general, sturgeons can live a lot longer than humans too, with female sturgeons living between 80 to 150 years old, and males only living up to 55 years old. As for their diet, sturgeons actually have no teeth, but are still omnivores nevertheless feeding on insect larvae, clams, snails, and even algae. Although these fishes are known for being dangerous, adult sturgeons can weigh over 300 pounds and range anywhere from 3 to 9 feet in length, causing serious damages to boats and even humans if you jump onto the vessels. It's like hitting a brick wall. In 2015 alone, a small child was killed in one incident, and eight people were injured in collision with another sturgeon. Our community along the Hudson River is home to the Atlantic sturgeon, which has been in danger since 2012. Atlantic sturgeon lifespans depends on where they migrate to after they head out to sea. These sturgeons can live up to 60 years if they choose to travel north towards Canada, and the ones going south can live between 25 to 30 years. One of the main reasons for its drop in population is habitat loss. A good habitat for eggs is one that has just the right level of salinity for them to survive and allows for juvenile sturgeons to develop. Remember, since sturgeons are anadromous, they spend the beginnings of their lives in freshwater, and a sudden high concentration in salt levels will impair their abilities to thrive. Along the Hudson River, sturgeons typically spawn in Hyde Park or the Catskills from April to June. They stay in the Hudson for up to 8 years before returning to sea, and pathways had to be clear barriers in order for them to swim back. Another reason for the steep decline in Atlantic sturgeon population is given the fact that, since sturgeons are bottom feeders, they are much more susceptible to PCBs in the river. Because of the chemical contamination of sediments, it has caused reduced hatching success with their eggs and resulted in deformation to developing sturgeons including a shortened body length, reductions in head size, and bad eye development, all of which has lowered their lifespan dramatically. Similar effects actually happen to other animals who consume the PCBs unknowingly, and the Atlantic sturgeon is certainly no exception. Unfortunately, they are just much more prone to it because of their lifestyle. However, with the increased regulations and restrictions to protect the Atlantic surgeon, 
possible to see their numbers rise once again. The next time you go exploring along the Hudson, see if you can spot the mysterious sturgeon. After all, it's probably the closest you'll get to seeing a real-life dinosaur.